everybody, welcome to Shift. We're so happy to have you on board. Shift is a productivity tool that will help save you time. With access to all of your emails, bookmarks, calendars, extensions, and most used apps all in one space, it really is a game-changing tool. So let's dive in and take a look at all things Shift. So to create an account, you are gonna need either a Google or Microsoft-based email account. If you don't have one, we do suggest creating one to sign into Shift, and later on you can add other emails into Shift that aren't these ones. If you do have a lot of different settings already built up into your default browser, let's say it's Google Chrome, we do recommend using this streamlined setup option and that will import all of your browser settings to help save some time. So let's dive in. All right, so now that we've logged into Shift, we can take a little bit of a deeper look into what Shift has to offer and what it looks like. The email you've used to sign into Shift will now become your primary Shift account. This will be located in the top left corner. If you do choose to one day purchase a subscription to Shift, it will be tied to that email. So ensure that if you log out and log back in, it is with this one. Your whole setup will be tied to your primary Shift account. Each of these different spaces are workspaces within Shift. And so right now I am in my primary Shift workspace. Within here, we have access to my email by clicking on here. We have some different apps that I've added in, some bookmarks. And then we also have these wonderful Google services up over here. Workspaces and Shift are a great way to divide up your different work depending on what you need. So for example, I have my work email, personal email, and I've also created some different spaces to show you examples. Say you're working with multiple different clients. I've created a workspace here where the needs of this client can be met. Maybe I manage a couple Facebook accounts for them, their messaging accounts, I can help out with all of that here while also being able to quickly access my personal. I've also created a workspace here needed for a school project. So we've got Canva and Google Docs and Notion to keep myself organized. Along with this, I've created a workspace called family where I can maybe keep track of different people in my life, managing their schedules, managing our groceries, managing taxes, just keeping that all separate from what I want to do in Shift. Within Shift, to create a new workspace, you're gonna locate the plus bottom in the bottom left here. Here, you're able to either add a new workspace or another application on your sidebar. I'm gonna show you how to add a workspace. Workspaces can either be made connected to an email or standalone without one. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create one without. Today, we're gonna to name this workspace work. Now that we've created a workspace, we're going to add some of our most used apps. So to add an app, you're going to locate again that plus button and you're going to go add application. I'm thinking maybe this workspace needs our Facebook account. I'll hit the plus button here. I'll give my account a name. I'll choose a color and I'll add it to this workspace. A nice tip is if you'd like to add this app to multiple different workspaces at once, you can add a shortcut here. So we can add this app to all workspaces or we can select the one we'd like. I think I'm gonna add this one to family. Click save. And now you'll find your app has located in your new workspace and it should also show up in your family workspace as well. I wanna direct your attention back to our primary email workspace. Say that we're working in a tab over here and we want easy access back to our email. You can one, double click this email button which will direct you back or you can select this email button up here. Along in the top right, you can easily access your calendar. And with a long press, you can access our unified calendar, which is a wonderful feature that we have in Shift. The unified calendar meshes up any added emails that you have into Shift's calendar. It's important to note that if the email is not added within Shift, it will not display on here. And another note is that if it is an added calendar on the side, it will also not show. It will only be the activities of your actual calendar. You can take a look at different days and all day events will also show up in the unified calendar. If you don't necessarily like the options that you have up here, you can change them by hitting the settings and you can trust Google Apps and change accordingly. This will also be the same for any Microsoft based emails that you have added. I would also like to direct your attention a little bit more to how notifications work in Shift. So as you can see, we have a 23 beside my icon here, but at the same time, it looks like I only have 20 email. This is because all workspace badges will account for the notifications in all your apps. 
So as you see here, I have three notifications over on my LinkedIn. If you don't like this, that is totally fine. You can do a right click and you can deselect include in workspace on red count. And now you will show the proper amount of notifications. If you do still like being able to see this count at the top, but you want to know how many emails you have at the time, you can always do a quick glance over here. Another example of that in my work email, I also have some notifications in Slack while also having eight emails here, just for another example. If you have any extensions you frequently use in Shift, you can easily add them at the top here. So you're going to find this little button that says extensions and you're going to click add extension. This will bring you to the Google Chrome web store where you'll have access to all of the Google Chrome extensions. Today I'm going to be adding Grammarly. Once here, you'll press add to Shift. And voila, you now have Grammarly added in to your Shift account. Along with any extensions and apps you may have added, you might have some frequently used accounts that you go to very regularly. I highly recommend adding them as a bookmark. Adding a bookmark in Shift is very simple and similar to other browsers. You're gonna find your website that you wanna add and you can press this star on the top right. It will give you the option to add a name for your bookmark and you can choose which bookmark bar to put it in. Once I press save, I will now find my bookmark up here. And the nice thing about Shift 2 is you can create separate bookmark bars for each workspace. Your home bar is going to be your main centralized one that you'll have access to wherever. And if you do choose to make other bookmark bars, you'll have access to the home along with those. For example, in my work bookmark bar, I have a couple apps I frequently use for work but I can also easily go back to my home bar and access any of the ones there. If you're super focused on some work and wanna take a little break from your notifications, we've got a super handy tool to help mute different notifications that may be coming in. To do this, you're gonna locate the settings in the top right. Once here, you can find notification settings and you can choose to mute different notifications, maybe for 30 minutes, up to an hour, and you can choose which one you'd like to take away. Once you've pressed mute, you will not be notified and you can get back to the busy work. Thank you so much again for your time and for listening in. We hope you learned something new about Shift and we really hope Shift can help you in the future to stay organized and save you some time. Good luck out there. And if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to our support team. It's support at TryShift. Thank you. Bye.